Hi there. It's Wednesday evening. Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. How are you tonight? Hello, how are you? You know, some weeks it's easy to be here and other weeks, not so much. This week was a not so much. And not because I didn't want to be here, but you know how sometimes it just feels that there are things that are trying to get in the way. And that's just tonight. And it's okay though. Because I have some pretty cool stuff for tonight. Hi Lise, how are you? I'm glad you're back. I expect to see pictures of your trip. So, unless you've posted them all. I just wanted to tell you that right on the, since it's the top of my head right now, or however we want to say that. So, hey Dottie, how are you, hun? I have figured out how to peek so I can see, hi hun, so I can see who's on. I have finally figured it out, it only took me two years. So, tonight, while I'm drinking my tea, we're doing a couple things, um, and something I did not post about because UPS just came about two hours ago, and um, I got some of my, some of my, and I'm saying that optimistically because you know I will end up ordering something else, um, but I did get some of my Christmas, believe it or not, promotion pre-order today. So, um, and I've got too many things going on this week, but yes, I did get how many, oh my gosh, how many, 70, um, catalogs, so I have to prep those and do everything. Hi, Cheryl, how are you, honey? Um, so I've got a whole bunch of work ahead of me again, but I'm okay with that because work means the more prep I do, the more fun we can have. That is how I'm looking at it. I'm choosing to not call it work anymore. So, all right. So, if you don't know already, stampingwithjohnny.com. Hi, Cheryl. I'm good, honey. Trying to stay out of this heat, though. Whew. Last night took it out of me. I will say that. If you guys don't know, I was up in Yucca Valley for a national night out. And it was warm, and then it was cooler, and then it was windy. And it was a bit of a challenge to sell paper in the wind. But it is what it is and we will get by. But I bet you want to see this cool new stuff, right? Okay, so we're going to do two housekeeping things. And then I'm sure Cheryl wants to know how those little pieces are going to come into effect. And I was hoping and crossing my fingers and my toes, if that's possible, that my stuff would come because it was supposed to come yesterday. And then it got delayed and then I didn't have notification and I was starting to flip out that <laughs> things were not going to fall into place, of course, right? So, a um, couple housekeeping things, like I said before. Um, we have got Color Your Season, which is the new bundle that's only available in August. So if you want to head start on your fall and your Christmas stuff, the flowers are pretty too. But I just wanted to tell you, um, and to me this looks like a pansy and there's a grape purple that goes with that called Gorgeous Grape, which is like primary color, really deep, really regal kind of purple. So anyways, great set. This is the actual size, not this. This is about double um, size wise. And then we've got some great... Um, framelits that we will be talking about tonight and some brand new pencils. Um, be aware though, if you're doing that technique from last week, there is not a white in this set, so you might want to stay with the original ones. And blender pens, because we live in the desert and they dry out, of course, I will break up the set. So if you would like one, please let me know. And that's about all I got for that, because I'm sure you're anxious to see what's going on. Okay. Um, also, there is a promotion in September if you want to host, and there's $250 in orders now. That sounds like a lot, but if we had 
how many people? Forty dollars per on average per order, and we did five orders, um, and then a supply order from me. You would be at two fifty, and you would get a free pack of paper. So that would give you a head start on your Christmas stuff. So. And if you really want to get a head start, you know, sign up to become a demonstrator because I've already got half my stuff. But, you know, I'm just saying, not just saying. All right, so here's those two little pieces that started this all. So I am putting those on the ink pad so we don't lose them, okay? This is not new. This is our metallic thread. And this is not new. This is our Wink Stella. I wasn't sure if I needed this, but it's kind of like my magic wand. And if you haven't done Wink Costella, you don't know yet, but it's a really, really cool tool. And if you don't know what you're doing or don't know what your card's going to look like and you need just a tiny bit of texture and a tiny bit of bling, this is your magic wand. Okay. So I'm going to scoot up here and literally have not opened anything. So very cool, right? All right, so we've got what is called Take Your Pick. Now, some of you may have seen this in craft stores already. If you have and you already have it, great. And if you don't, of course I did it upside down. Um, that's fine too. So, um, it's a tool. I actually took a survey on this tool almost a year ago now, and I've been so good to keep my mouth shut, right? All right, so this is a brand new tool for us, okay? And this end, which you pull a cap off and you crank up, has some putty that will come out the end, and that way when you're doing sequins and that kind of stuff, you can stick it, literally. <laughs> All right, and then on this end, you know how when you've got adhesive, um, like the multi-purpose adhesive, and you've got something stuck, and you're trying to scrape it off? That's what that's for, as well as just about anything else you can think of. And then on the other side of it, let me unlock this guy. You've got a piercing tool, lease, and then it's like not as easy to lose. Kind of cool, right? Okay. And then on top of all of this stuff, now that I've capped it, you've got a stylus tip, large and small, and then an extra putty tip. So we are um, going to find out how this works because literally just got it, had to still cook dinner, had to still do my normal life. And it's 10 bucks, by the way. And we will be changing out the Christmas class on the 18th with school starting and everything else. I didn't think. And I've got the new catalogs. How am I going to get them to you? So we're going to do an open house instead. We're going to do a project or two. We're going to have some new stuff out. And you'll pick up your catalog if you want to order. We'll probably have a promo that day or something. So just for your info, okay? Um... Some of the stuff I'm going to be using tonight, so that will be left for last. And this is the new, I can't get it open, of course. I cut all my nails off today, and that's how that goes. You know how. This is just, when you need them, they're not there, and when you do, you know how it is. All right, so I'm trying to just catch the plastic and not the ribbon. This is our new Merlot, Mary Merlot ribbon. Oh, for crying out loud. Let's see if I could catch this side instead. Maybe I'm squeezing it different. And now I caught that and the ribbon. Oh, come on, you guys. Let's see if I can just catch the edge this way. Please don't slice myself. Okay. That would not be good to do on camera, right? Slice myself. Uh, Alright, come on, come on. I'm wasting precious time. Come on. See, I should have opened some stuff first, but I haven't had time. Literally. I cleaned up my room from two events yesterday. And then I'll have two events again tomorrow. But one of them is really cool because we'll actually get to see Serena's daughter 
yay, um, perform in Alice in Wonderland. So, Mary, Mer Mary Merlot with a hint of gold metallic in it. Very pretty. Okay. And now we're going to try again because, you know, I, I didn't have enough fun with the last one. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Hey, this one has a tab. Awesome. Okay, so this is our new um, linen linen trim. Braided linen, linen trim. I was going to say something. I was going to say linen braid, but I was close, right? Oh. It's the only problem with shipping in the desert in the summer. The tape tends to melt into everything. So you might lose about a half inch. You know? <laughs> so... So, very cool trim. Look at how that spreads out. Oh, that's going to be some cool stuff. All right. Let me keep moving, though. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, just got everything in. Now you're seeing how I am normally. <laughs> You've seen me process it when I have classes. And you have not seen me open stuff, like, right as soon as I get it. So... So this is Dashing Deer and the coordinating framelits with it. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I like. Okay. We're going to have to do some serious crafting with that. All right. Keep moving, right? We only have how long tonight? <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right. So this I'm going to put to the side. Because we are probably going to use that tonight. So this is a new embossing folder called, let's see, what was it? Swirls and Curls. I was going to call it Swirls and Flurs, but no. See, brain's not working tonight. I just have to warn you guys. But some very cool texture going on in that. So... I love all the texture this time. It's just amazing. This is one of the 3D embossing folders. Dynamic textured impressions embossing folder, if you want to be exact. But I translate that to 3D. Okay? So, this kind of gives a corrugated... Feels good. Anyways, a corrugated effect. And you'll see why in a minute, I promise. So, and then this is another one of those 3D impression, oh, whatever you call, want to call this thing. Let's see, dynamic texture and textured impressions embossing folder. So, can you guess what this is going to be called? Once you see it, you will. Um, this is called tin tile. This is what I want my ceiling to look like eventually in my dining room with a chandelier. Yes, I know. Eventually, maybe I will get there, but not right at this moment. And then country home, which goes with that whole galvanized tin, you know, that kind of thing, right? Okay. So now you understand where I'm coming from, right? Okay. Keep moving, John. Keep moving. Right? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Because that's what I'm telling me. And then we've got a new glitter pack. It's got copper. It's got the Mary Merlot color. I guess I have to open it because what fun is getting new stuff and not. And then Tranquil Tide. So aren't those gorgeous? Just in time for fall and Christmas. Of course, right? Because we do our homework around here. All right, and then we've got black foil sheets. Now these, if I can get them open, reminded me of Sarah. I don't know if everybody knows Sarah because she only comes a little bit because she works and goes to school. and Well, she's trying to, you know, accomplish the entire world like the rest of us. But black metallic foil. I thought this is going to be gorgeous for fall slash Halloween, all that kind of stuff. With that tin, that tin impressions, embossing folder, whatever it's called. Yes. Okay. We are getting close.
close to the bottom, I promise. This is so this is called Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series Paper. Anytime you hear specialty, add two to three bucks because that means it has foil in it or some kind of metallic. And you know, it, it'll mean it's gorgeous, but it also means it's usually more expensive. And it also means, oh, this side is double sided. Awesome. Okay. So we've got our, this has got copper insets. So very cool. Okay. I just want to show you real quick. More copper with the Merlot. I guess this is the new cherry cobbler for this year. Is what I'm assuming. Ooh, cute. Love the snowflakes. And you guys probably see snowflakes, and I see we can glaze earrings, and we can do this, and I see projects and people. That's when you know things have shifted, when you can see past the paper. And I'm only doing two because you get two of each, so cute little deer to go with, of course, the dashing deer that we just opened, right? And I love how some of it's just winter and some of it is more Christmassy. So, good background, right? St. Patty's Day. You know, married to a piper, I have to think about that, right? All right, so we're coming to the end. We're almost there. Miss Cheryl will soon know what I'm going to do with those little pieces. If I don't glue everything together, that is. All righty. So I figured you'd want to know what this paper looked like in real life. So this is dashing along. Dashing along is the paper that is the freebie for the host promotion in September. So I have to be honest with you. I don't have a lot of dates left in September, but what you can do is crash one of my current classes and say, I want to host that. Okay. Card classes off limits. Everything else you can crash. Oh, cool. Words. Yay. Oh, I'm getting too many stacks going here. Because you didn't see that one happening, huh? I just want to do it quick. Very cool. And that can even go for Valentine's Day, especially this one with the filigree. Oh my gosh. Very pretty. Okay. Anybody still have that poinsettia builder punch? That would work with that. Of course, we've got a new style for this year, but hey, you know, I'm just saying if you already have it, why not, right? And I'm not going to tear this one open. I just wanted you to see the finish without the plastic. This is the galvanized metallic paper that we have. So it's more of a, almost like a brushed nickel kind of um, kind of look, shall we say. Okay. And I forgot to get a card base in all this excitement, so I will have to do that really quick. Now, one thing to note as I'm opening this, hold on a second. This country harvest paper, you normally think of country as being more vintage and being a little more soft. One thing I want you to take note of is the base, the undertone, and the accents of this paper is white, not vanilla. So when you're ordering, make sure to pay attention to that because otherwise it'll clash and you will not be happy. Okay? So some very cool, this matches the stamp set very nicely. And I've got quite a pile going on, but that is okay. Look at that with the flowering artichoke. Very cool. And some bright yellow, so if you completely miss Christmas, you still got stuff for spring. Or fall, depending on how you look at things. Hey, there's some wood. Cheryl, with your basket. There you go. And then some neat pinstriping. Ah, some cotton. Very cool. Love the background colors. Very traditional for fall. And then it looks like we've got some mint macaron going on. 
Very cool. Let me pull it up here so you can get the detail. Yes, baskets. Uh-huh. Thursday will be here before you know it. I love that detail. That's pretty. We're going to have to set that one aside. I might need that one for tonight. And then this one, all you need to do is print out a Charlie Brown and you've got Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin, right? <laughs> so, it's probably trademarked or something, but that's what it reminded me of. All right, so this is, let's see, Country Lane Designer Series paper. Okay, so that is going to be my, my, um, my card of choice. And I'm going to get one second. I had to get my card base. Remember? I forgot about it. All right, so I got my thick white card base cut in half, pre-scored. You know the drill, right? At least I hope so by now, right? All righty, so I am going to take my purple, which would also be known as fresh fig. Yep. Thought it was going to be Merlot, but never mind. So I'm going to cut this guy. I know, virgin paper. <gasps> Ready? Okay, there we go. No longer. We are officially into fall now. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish, I wish the weather would break a little bit. It's been a little sticky and hot again. So, alrighty. <laughs> So we will get this rolling here. And you know what I just thought of? With my other element, this might be too busy. So we will figure that out, though. And here's the other elements I'm talking about, okay? So this is called chicken wire element. This is what I wanted to use. So I might end up just getting a dark piece. So foil foil paper. Let's make sure this is the only one. Yes. And it's got the chicken coop wire already done. Yay. Right? And it's a little bit big, so I'm probably going to cut it down or whatever. Or we may not deal with it because I really, I'm in love with that paper. So we are just going to put that to the side. And that's all there is to it. So this here is snowflakes and stars wire elements, which are our new little wire ay yeah yeah the packaging one thing you will want to pay attention to you can order some stamp cases if you need storage ideas a shoe box whatever the case because these packages do not reseal so you will want to make sure you have some way of storing this unless you're going to use the whole thing um, before you open it so that way you don't lose it completely much like I am trying not to do because hello it's not easily openable which is that a word anyways which is kind of a good thing because then you don't have to worry so much oh I like the snowflake better um, you don't have to worry so much about it opening and shipment and that kind of thing we had some problems with our past buttons opening in shipment. And so I think that's why they changed the packaging. Okay. Alrighty. So I am, I am liking this, but I'm also thinking that I want, hmm, I'm going to try the linen braid. Okay. So Cheryl, we're getting, we're getting to where we're going to use that little piece that we were talking about, like for the last what two days something like that all right so I'm gonna glue this guy down and hope and pray that we are even nope but it is what it is right okay so I'm gonna grab some of this linen braid and now we're coming to that piece miss Cheryl pay attention this is where we're coming to alrighty so on the stitch shapes framelits that are brand new with that 
flyer that is buried. Oh my gosh, if you saw. Anyways, um, on the very tip top, if you put two framelits too close together, you will get this nice little piece, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back a day or two to um, the post talking about this. I think it was today, actually. Don't have to go back too far. Anyways, so we are going to grab this, and this is going to become my tie back, for lack of better terms, for my ornament to hang. Okay, so this is something kind of cool. Sorry, my nose itched. <laughs> we will get there. So I'm just going to tie this guy really quick. If you're not great at tying, this is where you ask somebody to bring you a finger. Not the middle finger, but a finger. Okay? So it's a little bit of finesse. And of course, when you're doing a live, guess what's going to happen? It's going to become a mess, right? Okay. Not too bad, right? Okay. So I'm just tying a little bit of a bow there, or a knot there, rather. Now, if you wanted somebody to actually take this off, you might want to do, I'm trying to think how to do square. Um, you might want to do more of a slip knot kind of thing, but right now I'm just getting it done. So to me, it looks like a propeller for an airplane, but I always think of my grandma with that. She used to fly. If you guys don't know so alrighty so we've got that going on I'm just gonna twist this guy a little bit remember that's still paper so it will tear but I want to twist this knot over so it hangs down like that and I'm just going to I should have that new tool out huh but I can't find anything you should see my desk you guys it's pretty bad I might take photos later it's pretty well, some people would say not bad, but I just literally started chucking stuff, so we will see how it goes. Alrighty. Come on, go, go. Alright. So I've got this little guy. And see, it's kind of like my little antique -y, I don't know what you want to call that, but kind of cool, right? My kid called it a mustache. I didn't want to call it a mustache. <laughs> it's really whatever you want to make of it, but yeah, I just, I knew it had to be used. That's all. And let's see if I can get this through here. Not sure if I can. Not always the best at threading stuff. There we go. And why is that? I'm not really sure, but it's what happens to me, which is one of the main reasons I do not sew, actually. So, so I'm going to tie this up quite tightly because I don't want it wiggling and everything else. You probably want to not, not, not it. <laughs> Say that three times fast. So people could actually get it off and have an ornament, but, you know, teach his own. Right? Crooked bow, of course. I do not do bows well if you haven't figured that out. So, oh, I don't like that at all. We're going to have to start over. Okay. And this is when sometimes you go, hmm, I think I might just have a knot there. And then do some kind of pretty embellishment. We'll see. That's not too bad now. Not perfect, but I'm going to pull that out a little bit and maybe fray the ends a little. So, and I hear Fran in the background saying, better done than perfect. But I at least have to get it close, Miss Fran. Fray this a tiny bit. Fray this a tiny bit. So, that is, I think, what my ornament's going to look like. And then, of course, put some words down here. Do I have any real close? I'm hoping so. But kind of a cool um, little technique, right? So, like I said, brand new, right? Okay. So, 
Many merry thanks. I always need thank yous. Always. Miss Cheryl, that's what you called it too. I'm glad. Because sometimes I can't keep up with all the nifty little... Excuse me, sorry. Got the top of my head. I can't keep up with all the nifty little sayings we have and all the little here and there's and... Yeah. So... And I'm trying to find a piece of white if you're wondering what I'm doing. Because I'm making it up as I go. So one second. I gotta find my punch. Okay. We are set now and ready to go. <laughs> it's always interesting with me, isn't it? All right. This is what happens when you don't know what's in your box. All right, so we got fresh fig. Let's see how this guy stamps. Perfect, yay! If you're doing this, you wanna wait just a couple seconds so you don't get any smears, but I'm not in the mood to wait if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> okay. And I'd probably pop that up. I'd probably get some jewels, but I'm not going to, you know, make you hear me going clump, clump, clump again. So we're just going to finish this off here. And look at if you were prepared and knew what was in your box. Look how simple that could be, right? Gorgeous card, especially if I didn't knot that beginning part, but I'll have to figure that out later. So there you have it, Miss Cheryl. That's what we did with that little piece that I just couldn't throw away. Okay. So that is my many Merry Thanks card. And you saw what's coming up and... Get ready, because here we go. Now that I have everything, because it was delayed a couple days, I can send out invites for the open house. So, hope you enjoyed tonight, and I will talk to you soon. Again, stampingwithjohnny.com. Enjoy, and go create. Thank you. Bye-bye.